Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, Yugi's Electronics. Today I have something interesting for you. Today I will show you how to code the air suspension on Audi. Mostly, when you replace the air suspension spare parts, you have to relearn the air suspension. Basically it's easy. Just look at the instructions from start to finish, and please pay attention to the details. These instructions are basically the same for all Audis, that have air suspension. So let's get started. As you can see, the yellow lamp lights up continuously for me, which means that you have to relearn the air suspension. If the lamp flashes, then the system has registered an error somewhere. If the system has registered a fault somewhere, carry out a diagnosis with VCDS or another diagnosis tool. Because it may be that you forgot something during installation. Now let's start coding. Go first to manual selection. Then go to channel 34, leveling. First, I check if I have any additional faults in air suspension. If you get such an error, it means that you have to relearn the air suspension. You cannot erase the error. If you have retrained the air suspension, the error will disappear automatically. And then very important, you must first unlock the system, in order to start the learning process, which is very important. Now enter, 31564 in the access authorization field. With this code, you unlock the new coding. Now I'm going to, adjustment 10. And now you choose, first, the left front wheel. And then, you go to the right front wheel. Then to the left rear wheel. And finally, the right, rear wheel. First, I choose the wheel in front of the left. Then the vehicle starts to retract to the basic position. Depending on the vehicle ride, the air suspension took it all the way up and then all the way down to determine the home position. Every vehicle is different. For example, if the vehicle is already in the right position, it stays in that position. It doesn't go all the way up and then all the way down. It is important that you always start with the left wheel in front. As soon as the basic position is reached, it looks like this. You take the measures, from the middle of the wheel, to the upper edge of the fender, and then enter them in millimeters. And so you do all four wheels, and then comes the next step. By the way, the basic position is only approached once and not separately for each wheel. Enter the new number in millimeters here. Then you click on the test button, if the value is in the norm, then the system takes over. If the new value is good, you still have to save the new value. That means, click on apply and afterwards you have to do the same thing with all four wheels. After entering the new mass, you have to save everything. This is very important. If you don't save that, you'll have to repeat the entire process from the beginning. Now you have to enter 1 and save.
As you can see, the error is no longer in the error memory. Now I go on diagnostic of the complete system. If the diagnosis runs without error, our job was very good. And another small thing during the entire process, the engine must be running. And all doors must be closed, as soon as you open the door, the process is interrupted. Windows can be left open. By the way, since I ran the diagnostics, I'll check if I have any additional errors. As you can see, the air suspension has no faults, that means we have been successful. Thank you for watching my video. Leave me a like and subscribe to my channel, Yugi's Electronics.